I don't know how well this is going to go because I'm on my phone. <laughs> That's okay. We'll make it work. Oh, having technical computer difficulties. Sorry. We love that for, for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it was, it, I have had issues in the past mm. when I first started trying to use StreamYard, but not where it's like I've been using it consistently and now all of a sudden my camera and stuff's not working. So I don't know. Not a fan of that, but no. hopefully I'll figure it out at some point. But not right yeah. now. While we need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try a little error after. Yeah. Hey. <sighs> Hello, Paige. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm in a fantastic mood. How are you? <laughs> I didn't finish, but I came close. Oh fuck! You were so close. I have 60 pages left, but I think that I got most of what I needed. I hope. I mean, yeah. if, if it's spoiled at this point, I'm okay with that. Because, you know, that's my bad for still not getting it done. It's a long-ass book. <laughs> we could just do an hour sprint. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm happy to... I finished off at the point where um, Alex and Magnus just reestablished... Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like that scene. Yeah. And then after that, um, everybody's going to You've done the main chunk of it. Yeah. And I got through, you know, of course, the most important... You know what's so funny? And she did this at the end of... This is... I don't want to spoil Infernal Devices. So I'm not going to spoil it. But I'm going to say that she has the, like, the moment, the big moment where you're killing the bad guy. You know, you're ending things happens so briefly it happens like this one yep. thing happens that person is dead and that's or dead ish and that's yeah. it which is yeah. similar to infernal devices which is so funny because i'm like you build up so much so much so much and i know i'm, I'm skipping ahead but i was just thinking about that <laughs> well you're currently in the midst of it so <laughs> let's say hi hello gene hi <laughs> did you were you able to get it finished gene even though you were feeling sick shell says dun 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 yeah issues issues manage to fish oh with the last three chapters via audiobooks maybe i should have done that. well i've been reading consistently i've been reading a lot <laughs> you have been pushing for it I, my reading's been rough lately so i was trying to get through it though mm. you finished it a while ago Paige. yeah yeah how's your brain hey. how's your brain now is it on other things completely oh absolutely <laughs> I read um, Wise Man's Fear, which is 994 pages in four days. Oh, my gosh. I'm impressed. I am Alexa, sorry. stop. Oh, what is she trying to do? Oh, she's... she's playing Wise Man's Fear from Audible. <laughs> Alexa, stop audiobook. Oh, it's been a temperamental little beast recently. Just randomly starts going. I'm like, can you not, bro? <laughs> She's just causing problems. Causing problems, yeah. Alexa. Yep. But that's she, right. That seems kind of scary, actually, to me, those Alexas. And I have three. <laughs> <laughs> three and a Wonder Boom. Mm. Oh. Yeah, because I've got the little dot, which is on my desk here. So it's just a little one. Now I've got the tall tower for the living room. And then we've got the screen in the bedroom. So we can do YouTube and like the weather and video stuff. That's awesome. So Alexa's um, yeah. fully integrated into your lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit too much sometimes. <laughs> Especially when she's trying to lose your place on your audio book. What the heck? Well, I mean, I've finished it. So, oh, oh, so she's it was starting. Just, yeah, like this is weird. But anyway, no worries. Yeah. So, um, what did you think about this? I liked it. Oh, I liked it. Yeah, it was good. Was it was good for an, a final book, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> poor Ash had to deal with me going the last hundred pages. I literally have read five books and an extra 500 pages of mediocrity and now it gets good <laughs> yeah that's, the limit. that's kind of the way it, it has been hasn't it? i know like 725 pages mm -hmm. that was a pretty hefty beast for what <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> but I I definitely agree with your critique in it just going plump and that not being cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, granted, you know, obviously Cassandra Clare realizes that some people don't want to just read extensive battle scenes and they really like a quick resolution to, you know, battle scenes. Because um, I know quite a few people who are not crazy about battle scenes, but like, it's a little too quick at times. And mm. I mean, I liked what happened with Sebastian and the end, Jonathan in the end, like as far as how that went, but it just seemed like, boop, that's it. <laughs> oh, we've invested this much time and it's done. I mean, to be fair, it's reflective of real life though, because that that's all it would take for a mortal person to die. Mm -hmm. Like that's true. And it, it you know the likelihood of them having an extended breathing monologue for six pages is not likely when you're bleeding. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just not yeah. gonna happen. But at the same time, it's like you could have done the emotional lead up and resonance after mm -hmm. better and to a shorter amount of pages. Yeah, I agree. I think that that would have, yeah, because it just felt like it, it felt like that whole situation resolved itself so quickly and yet we were building up to it for so long. So you're right. If, if it had not, been as long and we had we it was important to build up to it not get me wrong but mm. and then we're there and then all of a sudden we're in the the tower for five minutes and already are already sebastian's dead like <laughs> mm. <laughs> there should be a little bit more like give and take it shouldn't a little, I mean, little bit more yeah yeah let's see what Long chapters for killing, killing. Each chapter, either via audiobook or my predicted reading on Kobo was 45 minutes to one hour. Yeah. I was looking at the, uh, when I was looking at what I'm going to get finished and what I wasn't going to get finished, um, the epilogue is, like, super long. There's not really that much. Like, there's some stuff that is important, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't think it's really going to have a lasting Thing. Have you read about the Herondales? Um, I no, at the council. At the council? No, I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. But you can tell me because I. So is that part of the epilogue? I think so. It's, yeah, no, I didn't. it it would be in the last, the last yeah. last section. No, oh. um, I mean I know that. I read that Jace is going to take the Herondel name. Mm. And. Oh, yeah, that was cute. And um, him and Clary may live in that house in the future. Mm. I know that um, Emma has, Emma told the, the, the console that she was going to be Julian's parapetai because she doesn't want to be separated from him even though she is still not sure about it which is thick as I think that you know I think that she knows that they can never be together together if they are parapetai yeah. I think that's like at the back of her head yeah um, um yeah so basically the epilogue is just um Jocelyn and Luke redoing they're, um, oh, did they do their like wedding vows, vows. and stuff? Yeah. Um, and also there's a little bit more with Simon that gets touched on, considering he doesn't remember who they are. And <laughs> Tessa and Brother Zachariah make an appearance. Ah, yeah. So, yeah. okay, I have a question about this then. Do mm -hmm. you think we should have waited to read Clockwork Princess before we read this? Absolutely not. Okay, because I was I'm like, so happy we did. <laughs> okay, because I was like, it it gives away that everything is okay in the end of of um of Clockwork Princess, you know, like that everything resolves in this book. But you think that it's better that we read that one first, yeah. having known that this one resolves. Obviously, we know it's going to resolve because it's not a series where it's not one of those series where everything just falls apart in the end. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I was I was curious about that, especially since I haven't finished it yet. So I wasn't sure if I don't think there's much more, but literally the epilogue is based after the last scene of Clockwork Princess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like huh. where is it? Epilogue, London, Bry Frere's Bridge, 2008 for Clockwork Princess. Uh-huh. Epilogue, Thousand Beauties, May 2008. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm excited to read about that because, you know, I love, I love, I've been loving it's this cross. It's really cute. It's yeah. really cute. Just like th- the way that it wraps up. Yeah. Th- there's nothing like. No major pivotal things, except one. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Jean thought of Sebastian's death wrapped up very quickly. I think Cassandra yeah. could have edited a bit more. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> there were so many battle scenes and much violence. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was there as much? I didn't think there was that many battle scenes. No. Um. And there were more in the first three books, I thought. Oh. No? I think because there was more pages in this, it felt like there was less. Maybe. But I feel I like... like there were that many battle scenes in this. I felt, And I felt like they resolved pretty quickly. Yeah. I don't feel like they were extended. Right. There was a lot of violence. Mm-hmm. Well, there was a lot of blood. <laughs> yes, there was a lot of blood in this book. <laughs> Which might make it feel a bit more violent, even if it wasn't necessary. Yeah. But I suppose, like, with Maureen and all of that, like. Yeah. Oh, she was. She was and her like and it. her getting killed happened very brief, very quickly. It's like, I don't know how to kill people, so I'm just going to. Okay, they're dead. But let's move on. <laughs> and Raphael too. Seriously. Okay, so this is a theme. This is a theme here because this happened with all the main character, with all the characters that died. Raphael died like that. We didn't get any resolution with that. Uh, Maureen died like that, and yet she was becoming this. She was built up to be this huge problem, and then in Infernal Devices, things ended like that, and mm-hmm. then in this, things ended like that with Sebastian. Okay, yeah, it's a thing. You're you're probably right, Paige. She doesn't want to do death. <laughs> Let's see. Setting up for the dark artifices. Okay. Okay. Because I was wondering where they came into it. I knew that they, we were going to follow them somewhere, but I didn't know what books they were in and I couldn't be fucked looking it up. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, what'd you think of their characters? I love them. And it pisses me off because now I'll actually want to read that trilogy, but it's fucking <laughs> ginormous. Poor Paige. <laughs> I'm getting them out from the library. I'm not owning any more of the bastards. Yeah, I'm that's done. probably smart. <laughs> this year has been a lot with that. Yeah. it. They were so cute, though, and I thought that Emma was a really cool main character. I would love to mm. read from her. Yeah. And I liked Julian. I feel like he's a character that will grow as he gets older, too. I feel like he's a character that will grow a lot. And uh, that whole family, just, gosh, what a rough experience. <laughs> oh, that was rough. Sorry, I just cleaned my glasses for, like, the first time in two months, and I could actually see again, and it's weird. Oh, <laughs> like, oh everything's so shiny. Hello! This is, my, this is what my face looks like. <laughs> oh, hello! You look so beautiful! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, the torture of Mark and others, it seemed unneeded. Yeah, I can understand. That. When was... I'm trying to remember that. With the heart of Faye when they came Yes, in. and the fact that he was... I mean, it still shows... It shows the prejudice. Like, it shows the prejudice. Yeah. And I think it also shows how unyielding the fairies are. Yep. The fairies are fucking brutal. Yeah, they're awful. I like my happy, kind fairies. I don't like <laughs> these demonic beasts. <laughs> Which happy kind fairies should we be reading about instead? <laughs> the tooth fairy. The tooth fairy is pretty happy, yeah, definitely. 
I I could only think of like that uh, the these little pi <laughs> picture things I had as a kid, and it was like the tooth fairy. <laughs> yeah, the tooth fairy is very nice because you know money for losing your teeth. That is kind of morbid though. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Rainbow magic. Oh my god, I remember that from being a kid. <gasps> Holy surely. What is rainbow magic? It's a it's um a kids book by Shirley Barber, and she does beautiful like illustrations and stuff. It's so oh my god, sorry I'm just losing my nuggets. Is it about fairies? Yeah yeah yeah. Yes, Shirley Barber's magical fairy collection. It's like a whole set of them. Oh my lordy, this I've unlocked a core memory of my childhood. I've got to look Woo it up. Hoo -hoo! Magical. Oh my god, in the CD! I had that! Shelly Barber? Yeah. How do you spell that? Uh, S-H-I-R-L-E-Y B-A-R-B-E-R -E Oh, fairy collection. Oh my <laughs> god! I'm falling down a rabbit hole. Oh wait, it was, it was CDs? Like, they had a CD one, but I had all of them oh, as a kid. And the illustrations were just stunning. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my See, God. See, that's the kind of fairies we want, not the fairies. Th these The ceiling yeah. court are awful. Can we, can we read this next year instead? <laughs> It'll be nice <laughs> and short and quick. <laughs> and so much more pleasant than all the violence and blood. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and Martha B. Rabbit is my favorite book of hers, and it is beautiful. It's autumnal, and it's little rabbits, and they're just so cute. I think it's, yeah, it is Martha B. Rabbit, oh, and I she love cooks. Tales from oh. Martha. Yeah, I love um, you know, having those kind of memories all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, that really unlocked a lot of core memories for me just then. <laughs> I was not not emotionally prepared for that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Paige is having a moment over here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I read Raphael's death while I was sick with the flu and didn't really believe that it happened. Yeah, of course, <laughs> because it happened so quickly. I don't think it was the flu, Jean. I think it was. No. It was the writing. It was shocking. Mm. Because... There was no resolution there. It was like all of a sudden. And, and it, I think that that pissed me off too because his behavior and his willing to side with with um, Sebastian all of a sudden was really out of character for him. Even though he didn't have any, a lot of strong connections and feelings about Magnus and the Shadow Hunters, he wanted to prove that he didn't have any strong feelings for them. He was always about staying true to the Accords. Like, hmm. and you know, staying true to what they needed to do to stay, you know, like, it, I don't know, that's hard to say because, you know, like, I mean, and in fact, his, you know, vampire clan, they, um, they killed Maureen just so they could stay on the side of the shadow hunters. So like all of a sudden within a second, he says, okay, Sebastian, that sounds like a good deal. I'm going to come side with you. Mm. And it just kind of was really strange that he just that quickly, that flippantly um, was willing to side with, with Sebastian. I don't know. That was, that was just kind of a weird scene. And then all of a sudden Sebastian kills him and then that's it. Yeah. Like, what? And also, like, why build... Because uh, I felt like she was trying to build sympathy for us or at least... A sense of liking Raphael in this book so that we would like him more as a character and I did I started liking him more as a character and then all of a sudden he acts in a way that is like I don't know it just felt weird it was like she didn't know what to do with him so she just killed him off yeah yeah and, uh, but why like you could have done so much with him you could have let him have time to grow yeah I felt like there was a lot more that could be done with Raphael Jesus, yeah. I was waiting for Raphael to come back. Yeah. So was I. I was just waiting for something. I was just... Some, I, yeah. Something. Yeah. But it just didn't. No. I already put Lady Minette on hold the library. So that must be the next... That must be the first in the Dark Artifices. Mm. Um. I am not. <laughs> you're the <Michael. laughs> You're the 
a lot of things to worry about. You don't have to worry about that right now. I have a lot happening. <laughs> yeah. What'd you think of the whole Jordan and Maya thing? I love that he died. It hurt me deeply, but I thought it was perfect. <laughs> that sounds so weird. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I think that their relationship was never going to work and she knew that because she couldn't get over the trauma that he'd inflicted and he was wanting her to be his savior. Mm -hmm. So him dying thinking that he is a good guy sits well with my moral compass, but then she can end up with Bat, who yes. they work so much better as a dynamic anyway. Yeah, I agree with you. It seems really strange at first because she was so intent on telling him that she wasn't in love with him anymore. And I get that because you're right, the trauma. She wasn't able to get over the trauma. And understandably, she went through so much and she spent so much time with that fear and that anger for so long. Mm. Like you can't, and, and he really was just wanting her to be his savior because he couldn't handle the guilt that he felt for all, for the horrible things that he did. He didn't know That's how to handle it. not her fault. Like No. No, that's not her fault. And that's not going to make their relationship stronger in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cool that Maya is going to be the new vampire, not vampire, werewolf, werewolf pack leader. Yes. I like it too. I like it. I feel like Luke deserves a fucking break. Yes. <laughs> he is <laughs> constantly going and i just want him to be able to take a long vacation with jocelyn and just chill the fuck out and not have to stress that anyone's getting up to any mischief i feel like luke and jocelyn have been bashed around so much during this series i still like, don't like jocelyn. really huh i still don't like jocelyn <laughs> i know but for you, if you think about think about the whole series those two have been in a really so bad <laughs> <laughs> like, like Sandra Claire's like these are the characters that I can put constantly in harm's way and make them hurt all the time or kidnap them constantly or you know just like that's oh, that was emotional damage yeah <laughs> that's our goal with them is yeah. just to inflict as much pain as humanly possible yeah it was pretty funny because every single turn you get they're both being kidnapped or Jocelyn's being kidnapped the, those Someone's two. being injured and in yep. hospital or comatose yep. or... Yep, of course. Jesus yeah, of Christ. Course. <laughs> Jesus, I remembered that Raphael being so much older, I didn't think he was 12 or 13 in the other books. He was. He was always described as being young, looking, but um, not personality-wise because he wasn't young. No. I think the problem is, is that when you're turned you stay that age. And that was one of the things that Simon was upset about was that, you know, when he, cause he's like, I'm never going to, I'm, I'm never going to be able to go to college because I'm always going to look like a teenager because he'll stay looking the same. And I think that was the same for Raphael. He was young when he was turned, <clears throat> but he'd been living such a, you know, he'd lived a long life. How many, how long? Mm. He said he was pretty old at this point, right? Uh, I can't remember what he said. Yeah. Older than all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he knew Magnus from way back. And Magnus was 400? Yeah. That's a pretty it's a pretty long life there. That, that, that's a decent amount of time to do the do juju. <laughs> Jean says, I really liked Bat and Maya chemistry. Yeah, it was pretty cute, actually. And they did work very well together. And, and they will be a great partnership for the pack, I think. Yeah, and it's not going to be contestual, like constant fighting, not knowing where they stand with one another. Might actually oh. be a healthy relationship. Right. We also now know, though, that the next battles in this, the future battles, are going to be between the fairy folk and fairy folk, right? Because yeah. we're basically setting that up uh, in this because they refuse to. They're they we're forcing the fairy folk to disband their armies and stuff. And Magnus has predicted like what happened with Carthage, that they're going to hold on to their anger and hatred. And then that'll become a big battle. Right. That's what I mean. Like oh. we, we, we see where surprise, it's supposed surprise. to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Let's see. Jean says, Luke definitely needs a break. Um, then the most I remember about Jocelyn is being in a coma. Yeah, she yeah, she's she's been kidnapped and been put in a coma and all kinds of things done to her. <laughs> Jocelyn just doesn't she just can't catch a break. But there is a short story about Jocelyn, and I'm almost tempted to read it just because it gives some of her background. And like when she, I think, and I'd be interested to see what she was like when she was with Valentine. I don't, oh, I see. Just to see how she became who she is now. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. because she is a pretty hard, straight edge kind of, not straight edge, but like she's, she's pretty strong in her way. She... She doesn't give in to the fact that she thinks that Jace is wrong for Clary. She doesn't, you know, she she doesn't, she sticks to her, her feelings. Like, and she, she's yeah. pretty hard-edged about them. Yeah, and vocal. <laughs> and vocal about it, yes. Jean asked, did you guys read the Bane Chronicles? I have not. No. And that's basically what he wrote on those, that notebook, right? Yes. Yeah, so the notebook that he gives to Alex are the main chronicles. They didn't get the best reviews. No, looked, they really haven't. Yeah, I looked up the ratings and they weren't so great. So if anybody else has read them, Shell, have you read the Bane Chronicles? Because I think you've read others in this series. Then there's the Shadowhunters Codex. What do you think that's about? Um, that is given in the epilogue from someone to... Oh. Because Clary's reading it throughout. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, the Codex, yeah. Um, that makes but, yeah, she's given a nice addition. Oh, okay. That was sweet. Um, so we had – there was something I was thinking about, and then it flew out of my brain. Not wish, surprising. Wish, wish. Not surprisingly. Um, Michelle has not read The Bane Chronicles. Okay. Uh, what was it? Okay, so we had... Oh, yeah. Hello. Simon. Yes. Okay, so tell me what happens in the epilogue, because I did not remember <laughs> that. <laughs> um, Magnus helps him remember. What?! <laughs> Not everything, but um, they go and see him outside of school and his band's playing with Eric and stuff and the band's called the Model Instruments. Oh, that's cute. So, so they good. know. Yeah, he knows that there's something there and things are just odd. Um, so they sort of are starting to work together to help it come back. And okay. it's very wholesome what he says to Iz. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see that. Because I was not bought into the whole Simon and Isabel thing for a long time. But I started liking it a lot more, especially in this book. When they sort of just let, like, they're not afraid to speak their emotions. And I feel like Simon's finally given up his feelings for Clary. Yes. Wholeheartedly. He doesn't even remember her. <laughs> yes! Good! <laughs> That's so terrible. Yes! I'm so glad! <laughs> yeah, because I was thinking, like, what's going to happen now? Isabel's not going to be able to give up Simon like that. So is she going to, you know, give up being a shadow hunter and go try to be around Simon? No. Okay, good. Yeah. So Clary is the one that initiates it with Magnus being like, is this possible? And then they sort of just like start introducing and being like, what the fuck's going on? And he's very confused because he keeps getting accosted by random fucking strangers. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. So. What'd you think of that whole scene with Simon actually, with Asmodeus and Simon giving up his... <sighs> I don't know. I think it was a com convenient plot point. I was thinking so too. Like, I don't think it was bad, but. Uh, 
I feel like Simon's had to make the most change throughout this series. Yes, like, he as an individual, really gone from the <laughs> and accepting in himself, like mm -hmm. because he lost his ability to say, like he managed to regain his ability to speak God and all of that. But it's like the things that he's gone through to hit that point is just a lot. Yeah. I mean, he had the Mark of Cain on that changed him in a lot of ways. Well, first he was a vam. First he was Simon and he yeah. was Clary. And then he yeah. became a vampire. And that was a huge change for him. And then he became a daylighter. And that was another change for him. And then he got the Mark of Cain on him. And that was another change for him. And, like, and then he had to deal with his guilt from like, uh, trying to attack Maureen and the different things that he went through. Then he's got like his it, Maya and Isabel thing. So like Simon's gone through so much. And then now all of a sudden he's no longer a vampire. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> Simon. It's just Simon again. But with the style of vampire Simon. Oh, does he still have a style? Oh, he still, ha he has to wear his glasses again though. Oh no, that's a bummer. <laughs> that would be really nice. So what about Lily? What do you think of Lily becoming the vampire, the head of vampire? Yeah. I can see that Cassie has a lot of wiggle room with her character. She could make her go bad, but I feel like she'll stay pretty true to the Shadow Hunters. Yeah, it just seems strange because she's not a very strong character. You know, we've got no. Yeah, we've got these big characters that are really important to the story, and Raphael was the obvious choice for him finally being the leader of the vampires, and then she kills him off in an instant. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. Well, it doesn't make sense because she should have just kept Raphael alive and figured that out some way or another. If she's going to do someone having a nobody works because we don't really know anyone else so what's it like we don't have a vampire person right. anymore so yeah. it sort of becomes obsolete I know they'll play another role but in future series but like eh yeah Ooh, it's cool. kind of a weird you know like because we we've known these very strong vampire characters and then all of a sudden we're, we're left with Lily who very, yeah. Take or leave her. Is Mama Shazza okay? She's fine. Are you okay in there, Mom? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's just had this cough that's gone for like a month or so. Yeah, because she wasn't well when you started your December vlogs. Yeah, and then it went away, and then we came on our trip, and it's come back again, which ha has happened in the past before. We went on a trip. She was really sick, had a cold, had a cough. It lasted a long time. It started going away. We went on a trip, and then it started coming back again. So it's just this dry cough that she just can't get rid of. Rude. Yeah. Poor mama. Yeah. Poor mama. Yeah. But <laughs> it's very dry here where we are, so I think that the weather, the, just the dryness and the air is like yeah. tickled her throat too much since it was already irritated. My brain's now finally caught up as to why that is a kitchen behind you and not your usual setup. Because <laughs> we're not home. And I did know this. <laughs> I did remember that this was happening. <laughs> Apparently not strongly enough to make that correlation, though. That's okay. That That's... That that's you've been reading a lot you read a 900 yeah. page book in four days so yeah I think because that's why I was like oh are you in the bathroom because I haven't <laughs> seen that section of your house before <laughs> and then I showed you the kitchen and you're like oh <laughs> okay no nothing no clicks no clicks just <laughs> just dumb fucks it's fine no it's it's good it's good <laughs> oh. yeah um, are you using the Wi-Fi there? Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. That's probably why the camera doesn't work. Because the oh. security system, the security would be firewall. Oh. 
That's good to know because I'm like, what the heck? Maybe. Like, it could just be that their settings are too high that you can't have that sort of outgoing source without changing it in. But, I mean, I'm, I'm using it on my phone. But maybe it's different on the phones. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have any I'm surface sure. here. I have zero service. Oh. Yeah. It's weird. I'm not sure. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, yeah, because it is weird. It should work. And it yeah. Work. Yeah. If it's working on one, it should work on the other. But yeah. I just didn't know. No, you're probably right then. It probably has something to do with the connection or how their system settings... set up. Yeah. And maybe the phones just don't override it as hard as a laptop does. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Or maybe, maybe it's, it's completely... something's fucked with your camera. <laughs> I hope not. I hope it's just the I hope you're right. I hope it's just the, something about something about something. Somewhere. Somehow. Someday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and that's frustrating. But I will tell you though, the internet here is way better than our internet at home. I try when I uploaded. Yeah, when I was uploading day two video, it took five minutes to upload into. Oh. I was like, whoa, it's done. That's it. Usually that's it takes it. like an hour and a half, two hours. Mm. So that's good. I take it day three stagnated for a minute while trying to get through this. It's just a very long vlog because it was many days. <laughs> That's fine. Lot, it's a lot to edit. So I have been editing it and I've I've been editing it, but it's just a very long vlog and I'll get the pup going. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. And then yeah, I've been trying to get through this and we've been doing stuff here. We've been trying to yeah, have fun 100%. doing stuff. Um but yeah, no, it was, a, it's a, it's a lot of days. It's because it just, I just haven't been reading that much. And then I, we were so busy. We, we actually ended up getting to be very busy. I had a couple of days where I was a little down. <laughs> Those are always fun days to edit. <laughs> um, but um no it's just a very long one so i've been i've been actively editing it every day so i'm trying i'm working and then after this i will be able to edit it some more but yeah life that's fine i'm behind this i mean like i feel like i'm behind every year but this year i'm behind more than <laughs> last year at least i felt like i was more on top of things last year i think it's just i had other things that have taken precedence so that it's and then because you're you're still carrying on from last month to then have to do the things on top and then finishing with school and yeah. x y and z which you didn't have this last year true you had a decent but you know and then you deserve time to take a break and rest your brain yeah I'm I'm kind of tired of reading that much Cassandra Clare in one month. Yeah, period. never again. <laughs> never again do we do that. <laughs> that was a lot. And I'm just like, I just I just want to read something else. I just want to read something else. <laughs> uh... And yeah, Jane also makes a good point that you, I don't think you had other books at the same time aside from your audio book. Yeah. It was just, you could focus on those things. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's a very good point. Yeah. This was a hefty duty, heavy duty one. And usually I can read more, you know, like the, these, but I get distracted. I've been uh, lately, I've been getting distracted very easily when I sit down to read because I have so many things I want to do, or I'm just not in, my brain is not in the right mode to, to focus on reading. And so it's yeah. gotten better over the last couple of days, but it does take me a little time after school's done to like get out of that yeah yeah it takes me time i wish it did <laughs> jean says which 900 page book did you just read page uh wise man's fear by patrick rothfuss oh how'd you like that i loved it have you read anything else by patrick rothfuss does he have anything else i thought that he has like a whole series of stuff oh, well the key maybe is that oh that's the king killers chronicles but like i've read the first one name of the wind and then the second one i'm sure he would have stuff i just haven't read it 
Oh, he's got another one that's supposed to come out at some point for that season? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, it, it, he said that 12 years ago. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. it's, it's bad. Ash wanted me to read it, so then I had to suffer through his pain of not having the next book to continue with, and I finished it. I was like, yeah, there's, like, sure. It's, oh, that's, that's cruel. It's fine, but like <laughs> I'm I'm not on the edge of my seat to read the next one. And he's like, God damn it. I was like, I have too many other things on the go to give a shit. Yeah. And that's and, and like and that's good that you didn't feel so strongly. I mean, did you enjoy it? I gave it five stars. It was okay. bloody amazing. But I'm happy waiting. <laughs> I'm like eh. The last line sort of catches you, and I was like, oh, I see where this is going now. Hot diggity damn, radio. But, eh. <laughs> like, I've read other books that have ended on more of a cliffhanger, but I still haven't picked up the second one of my own accord and own it and have it in my hands. <laughs> so, I just. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, Ash was severely disappointed. That I was <laughs> like, come on. Yeah. I want you to be in as much pain as me. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. Sorry. Oh. That was that was funny. It's like, ah. And I left it till December because I was like, I'm going to need to emotionally prepare for this. And then. Didn't need to. It, it I got so sucked in. Oh, it was so nice. Oh, that's good. And I think because I read it straight after reading Cassie Clare. No, 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 no. No, I'd read Aedi, Medusa, and The Five in between. Oh, how was The Five? Oh. Is it really? Okay, it's beautiful. good. I do want to like, read that. It's really just telling the lives. Like, mm -hmm. it's literally historically laying out, this is where they grew up, this is what they did, this is what they who they married and who they would have socialized with, but it was told in such a narrative format. It was just amazing. I do love narrative nonfictions yeah. a lot. It reminded me of like, a, ooh, dang. Um, <laughs> Ash just told me, <laughs> Ash has been messaging me being like, I'm tired. I can't do the tidy when I get home. I hope Murray's not here before I get home. And I was like, it's fine. I'll get to it. Don't worry. Um, but he just told me how much they've made today already. And it's oh. decent um, for them, which is nice. But um, the five. Yeah, yeah it's really just talking about their lives. And it's done in a way that it's interesting without feeling dense. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to say. It's like a... um less humorous more feminist mary roach okay okay in sort of the way that they approach it and having that narrative yeah. format i still haven't read stiff that's fine neither have i you but gave I, it to I, me for my birthday i put that book on so many tbrs it's not surprising but just like come on <laughs> Do you think stiff would count as a type of potato? <laughs> it will, I mean, it's it's a vibe thing, right? So. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, I looked over to the side of me uh, and I had this just chilling. And I was oh, like, yeah, that's... it's the size and the coloring of a potato. It is. <laughs> So we'll 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 see where that ends up at the end of next year. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What a dumb oh my gosh. Well everybody go watch Paige's videos in the next couple of days, or it's gonna be tomorrow. It'll be either Tuesday or Friday, my time. Make sure so. you're watching Paige's videos, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to see something really dumb, go watch her Advent Challenge video. Um yeah what's more dumb is the fact that I started laughing so hard I choked on my own fucking laughter and then was crying for the next five minutes because I couldn't fucking breathe oh no I'm sorry it was hilarious I was 
really embarrassed. Honestly, I'm like, I need to resend her video. I need to do another no, video. I need to not send absolutely it. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's perfection. <laughs> I can tell you that I'm going to be having to sing in a video. Good. Why? Not good. I sound like Scully from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> really absolutely <laughs> these vocal cords are not designed for musical inclination <laughs> in the slightest oh, i'm looking forward to it i can't wait i'm so not <laughs> <laughs> i cannot wait for this mm. let's see bergman is it gonna it's be on your channel that I am. Oh, they yeah, they're cute. The Chloe Lee books. Oh, is it on your channel that you're um singing? Yeah, <gasps> it will be. Good. I'm excited about that. Okay, this looks cute. I think I already have this. I already have this series on my uh my to be read. It got pretty good reviews, actually. Have you read There's that? Quite a few of them. I haven't read any of them. Mm. Oh, is there anything else to say about this series? Overall thoughts, page of Mortal Instruments. I'm fucking glad it's done. <laughs> That's a lot. There was a lot. Like, for me, it really was a mediocre series until this last book. Yeah. So my heart goes, I want to say that it's a good series. It wasn't for me, though. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that can be really frustrating too, especially because you didn't get the chance to not read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking hope the next one's a little bit better. Yeah. Well, you liked Infernal Devices more. I uh, yeah, I really did. Yeah, I I ended up so. I, I can tell you that I'm very tired of Cassandra Clare right now. So it's really hard to say how much I liked these last few because I'm just tired of reading it. And that was kind of the same with Clockwork Princess. I did enjoy it and I still gave it the same, I gave it four stars like I did before, but it also was, even though I liked those characters a lot and I, I like, I really liked some of the storyline, I just was tired of reading Cassandra Clare back one after the other, after the other, after the other. And so yeah. I think, and that just shows me that I'm not much of a binge reader. Like, I'm not somebody no, who reads a lot of things. Yeah. Whereas some people just love it, and they'll just read one book after the other in a series, and that's how they like to read. That's what I'm attempting to do next year. <laughs> no, I lie. I'm not attempting to do that. I'm just going to continue multiple series at any given time. <laughs> I know. I need to get through some series, too. Or at least I have a can... hundred and... Four currently open series. I think I only have sixty something or something like that. Hundred and five from, yeah, and I've almost finished all the ones from two thousand through to two thousand and sixteen. Oh, that's good. There's <laughs> four. <laughs> it's like it's like six seven years ago. Great job. <laughs> There's four series. So if I finish those, there are 101 series I have started since 2017. Oh, that's a lot. That is stupid. How have I not put these math together? Huh? I mean, but that's over a five-year period. I, that's still a lot. <laughs> I, and I, I know because of my series diaries, I, for 2020 and 2021, I started 30, 35 to 40 series in a year. The rest of them were not as bad. No, they weren't. Yeah, well, you know, that's okay, Paige. You were testing a lot of things out. You were mm. trying things. You wanted to see what was your, what you wanted to go with. That That's all. Mm. You were dipping mm. your toe into a lot of things. That's all. Yes. I need to submerge my face in the rest of it now. <laughs> well, now that you dipped your toe in, you know what you got to continue on with. <laughs> I mean, it's great continuing series, but it's also fun starting new ones, right? 
yes and get in different worlds and different people and not incestual characters <laughs> i know and it was so funny because i was like she really does not want to let go of the incest you know she finally gave us a a normalized relationship between jace and clary um was- i enjoyed it i enjoyed it because they weren't being dumb fucks yeah yeah <laughs> But she still had to keep some of that incest in there with Sebastian, you know? You got to keep the incest. That's... <laughs> no, you really don't, mate. <laughs> it's you so saw my fun, post in the Discord just being like, Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I did. I thought it was so funny. I loved it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the page is like, this is making me so uncomfortable. I don't like it. I don't want it. No. Don't make me good. do it. But I'm telling you, even when she got rid of that plot line, she had to bring it back in somehow. <sighs> if must you? Must you? I mean, he had the demon in him. <laughs> She's going to give me a fucking demon and I'll go rip a fucking throat out with my teeth. <laughs> I swear to God, if that continues on in the next series, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. Well, I mean. There wasn't our... any in it. Uh, clockwork. The... No, that's not true. No, that's not true. Because there was a, because Emma and she had to pretend like she was the girl that was dating her brother. Yeah. Yeah, yep, I remember. And he was like, yeah, give me a kiss. And I was like, ah. Uh, and nah. he knew. He knew at that point. He knew what was her. Yeah. Yeah. Because he wanted to test her resolve. So less icky, but still just. Still... And <clears throat> they, she kept saying, like, between Emma and Julian, like, I, I, I don't want to say he's like family because he's not like my brother. But then people kept saying they're like family. They're like family. So they've been raised like siblings. Mm. that's gonna be fun <laughs> Jean says I'm glad I finished this series with you guys I'm glad you got to finish this one with us too Jean I know she, Jean had read all the other ones a while ago and then just wanted to read City of Heavenly Fire so thank you for joining us I don't normally read a series and, and ooh, excuse me. I need a break from writing styles Deborah Harkness was the first time I did the series in a year nice yeah yeah, yeah. It's a, I don't do it very much either. It doesn't. It doesn't for me. I've. It doesn't work. Sorry. For me. <laughs> Considering you know we've got strange case next year. Oh no, I don't mind that. Like I, I, and it's fine. I just, I was just thinking about. Um, so I was just thinking more along the lines of like you know just reading one book. Where this month was hard because we had just finished. Clockwork Prince and and City of Lost Souls, and then started right away into Clockwork Princess and City of Heavenly Fire. So, like within a one month period, maybe a little bit one, one and a half month period, I yes. read four Cassandra Clare books. Like that's too much. That's no. too much. And they're all the big ones. They're Wasn't all the, big the short ones. little ones. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're not the short little ones. So yeah, that was. I think it's more that. Like it, it was yeah. just way too much in a condensed period of time. Yeah. But I didn't mind reading all the Deborah Harkness books this month, this year. No, but you also gave all of five them stars. five stars. <laughs> Except the last one. The, the yeah, time yeah. Convert. Times Convert. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's probably a good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, it's different. And you didn't have me absolutely berating the shit out of them on every live show that we had. <laughs> I mean, no, I think that's a good thing, though. It's totally fair. Because it's oh like, yeah, it's fair, but it's probably not making you enjoy it <laughs> anymore. I I still had fun with it, you know. I really and it was easier towards the beginning to have more fun with it because I just was like suspending my any expectations whatsoever, and yeah. I was I enjoying. I've gone up and you've gone down. Yeah, uh, and it's really because I'm just tired of Cassandra Clare's yeah. writing style at this point. <laughs> Yeah, just give me something. If, maybe because we added the Infernal Devices, which I'm glad we did, because I'm glad I got to. I'm glad them. we did. Yeah, and I don't think I would have enjoyed this. I I think yep. it added so much to have all those Easter eggs. Like that was awesome, especially in this book. There were so many. Mm. It really tied them so well together. Yeah, and it was fun. It was like, oh, I know what the fuck's happening. Yeah. There were a lot of Easter eggs. So, like, if anybody hasn't read Infernal Devices, maybe even Jean, um, you know, and is watching this and you are, like, 
I don't know. I say go back and I don't know. I mean, you're not going to reread these three books probably, but like it is really fun to see the Easter eggs in both of these books. I am glad that we did it this way. I think what I would have preferred if we had have known this was going to unfold would be just to factor in infernal devices into the reading schedule and just so make then it we were better. yeah yeah just so we didn't you know completely die yeah yeah we completely died here in the end <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> how are we to know though you know like yeah th- i think because my friend actively yelled at me to not binge read the first three and then read mm-hmm. the last three of the model instruments i was pretty set in going alternating but originally you were going to just binge them all right yeah that didn't happen no the summer was summer was crazy yeah 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 didn't happen Uh, yeah you know and i thought that i would have been able to binge them but i don't know now at this point because we've been reading so much cassandra claire if that would have been something i could have done anyways Mm. and i also just think like you have uh, so many other things going on that you want to get to that the second it doesn't become as fun as it was Mm -hmm. it's going to become way more of a struggle yeah yeah i want to move on to other bigger and better things exactly i mean that's how i've been feeling this month i'm like struggling with slumping in this part of me that doesn't want to read because i know that this is what i need to read but i want to read other things or i you know like because i want to read my advent stuff yeah 100 (laughs) percent I don't want to read you. I want to read my hey, you hey, this. Yeah. I'm ready to move on. Well, after this, we can. Yes. I know. Ah! Oh, thank fuck. I can't wait to see what you have, what you have in store for you in 2023, though. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, there are a lot of goals. <laughs> we shall see what happens. Yeah, I've got to revisit my goals too. But I usually do that at the end, in, in the beginning of January. So we'll see if that happens. I've already read of mine. Oh, good. That's exciting. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, you're not an idiot at all. Do you want me to, um, oh, hold up. Let me, I'll make an amendment and then I'll share my screen. So. James literally says, there are so many incestuous and claims of plagiar. Plowism? Videos on YouTube. Plagiarism videos on YouTube about Cassandra. Hmm. That's a bummer. I mean, the incestuous stuff, that's not surprising. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's. But it's uh, it's just like can you not? I feel like she's she's gotten herself a reputation at this point. Yeah, she really e- has. Ooh. Okay. Um. Sorry, this is what I spent last night working on. <laughs> It's shared down the bottom. Oh. I don't know if the wall oh, didn't come uh, through yet. Hmm. Come on, come through. That's all right. <laughs> see if I can see it if I go into. No, it's not coming through. Oh, okay. Um, what if I go? Is it there now? Mm-hmm. It should just be a screen thing. Oh, here we go. There we go. Sorry. It's my phone. I have to get used to how to do this. 
So um, this is my goals for next year with an entire breakdown of all the things that are happening every month, organized by month. Wait, let me, let me, let me look at it on my other computer, but let me mute this so that no sound happens. Can I, can I, oh. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Ah, oh, here we go. Whoop, whoop. I can look at it. Oh, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Control oh oh ah! <laughs> oh that's exciting okay we've got buzzwordathon read your bookshelf TBR knockout bookstar rainbow shelf oh, let's see and then series. on this side Cluedo series big book whole revisited that's extended self destruct scratch map and yeah oh my gosh Paige. <laughs> And it's organized. I've got it laid out for each month. Here's the thing, though. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, I know I can. I'm just going to go insane. <laughs> I love it. This is fantastic. And this then is very what I do is on this one, I put a readathon and then, like, I'll have the, no, I'll put the readathon there. And so mm -hmm. I have the book there and then any prompts that they fulfill there. Oh, that is amazing. I love it. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I still, I was, so this week was, we had so many things we wanted to do while we were here and the week has flown by. Like we, today is Friday here. We have one more day and then we have to leave very early Sunday morning. And we were just like, these are the things we're going to do while we're on our trip. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. I'm going to work on my uh, TBR game. Haven't touched it. Haven't touched it haven't touched we did we were gonna watch a, a christmas movie every night we were here haven't done that there were so many things we we're gonna do <laughs> Lots and, of goals. and it's not like we haven't done things we've done a lot but it's just like yeah it, it the time is just flying by so i've got some planning to do myself and hopefully next week i'll get a chance to do some of it hit me up if you need a a companion in this, the time of need for the next existential crisis. <laughs> Paige, help me. <laughs> You're suffering, so can I suffer with you? Yes, I need support. <laughs> but my goals video is going out whatever day the advent challenge doesn't. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm like, I, now I want to shift the advent to be Tuesday's video, but because Murray's here, I don't think I'm going to get enough time to edit it. So I want to do my goals because that's a shorter video. So then it's less time to edit. So then I can actually get it done, you know. Yeah. But. But you're going to, so are you going to spend time with your friend and get a chance to, like, have fun? <laughs> yes. That's why I'm like, and that's why I don't want to. I start editing the booktube video because then the booktuber video because then that will take more time mm -hmm. and I won't have either video go up on a on Tuesday because yeah. he's only staying for like he hasn't actually specified if he's staying he said a day or two so okay so you don't go have... on Monday he might go tomorrow like well, wait is he there now <laughs> no 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 oh, okay okay he's That's... not coming till tonight okay and this yeah. evening yeah, and you need to spend time with your friend. That's just so exciting. I do. I haven't seen him in so long. I'm so excited to see his stupid face. <laughs> oh, I love that feeling. I love mm. that feeling. It's been three years. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. The last time I saw him, he was emceeing for our friend's wedding. Oh. And so, like, we really didn't get time to hang out at all. So it'd be, like... Yeah, year and a half before that. Yeah. So I feel like it's been five years since we've actually been able to hang Spend out together. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this will be great. I'm so excited. And he gets to meet Ash, and I think they're going to get along like two fucking idiots together. It's going to be glorious. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, it's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I have, uh, I, I've been able to see some of my really close friends 
over the last couple of years, luckily, ever since, you know, I mean, not obviously not during the height of the pandemic, but like afterwards. Um, but one of my friends I haven't seen for quite a few years. So it just, it's just, yeah, it's kind of sad. Like you kind of miss, just you miss their faces and you miss that time. Yeah. With them. Yeah. yeah. And like, he's a chaotic ball of energy. So we match well. That's why we're friends. <laughs> so the two of you are going to be, ah! <laughs> 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 What do you want to do first? Do you want to go for a drive? Let's go for a drive. Where do you want to go? You want to go over here? Let's go over here. Okay, I'm sniffing a butt now. Okay, and here's a treat. Let's hug it. <laughs> yes. Oh, good, good. You guys are going to be sniffing butts and hugging trees. I love it. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That's just oh, raunchy. Oh, that just brought back many... Butt sniffing memories? Not sober memories. <laughs> oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fell into a bush while my friend, while Murray was trying to climb a tree. We were both under the influence. And um, previously, I'd just been biting his shirt. Of course you were. <laughs> yeah. So he had like this massive fucking wet patch. <laughs> and then we were just going for a walk. And then I've tripped over and fallen into a bush. And he's like, you know what? Instead of helping you, I'm going to go climb this tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are friends for if not to uh, leave you stranded <laughs> in a bush? <laughs> yeah, that was that was fun. It's good. I it's forgot good. about that. <laughs> you guys will have to reminisce over that. Mm. I don't because I never really like that's half the reason I gave up drinking was because I never really got buzzed. Like I never felt the effects of alcohol, and I was a fresh eighteen to twenty year old so I only drank really disgusting tasting shit <laughs> so it's like what's the point I'm putting right. all this money down the drain essentially but there are I, maybe four nights that I remember actually being drunk it was quite funny <laughs> <laughs> and that bush night was one of them <laughs> that was one of the yeah yeah it was <laughs> whoopsies yeah whoops that's what well, those are. Those are fun nights. So they're fun nights to remember. You know, they may not be fun the next morning, but no, they're oh, I, I didn't. You probably didn't way. get hangovers, did you? No. <laughs> it was like it just. I drank it, and it was like water. Nothing happened. I uh, put away five hundred dollars on a night. Nothing. Nothing. No alcohol poisoning. Nothing. <laughs> That's just crazy. That's just, I'm the opposite. <laughs> I have two drinks and I'm like three days later. Yeah, three days later I'm like oh, I'm so I have a headache still and no, it's not that bad, but it feels like it sometimes. Yeah, it, yeah. <sighs> I I understand the pain. Whilst can't say I've ever experienced it myself. I'm very I'm very happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy for you. So heavy. And this is why people laugh at me when I go out to restaurants as a group of people and I order tea. Because I'm like, oh, I like tea. What's yeah. the fucking point? Yeah. No and point. they're all like, let's try these cocktails. I'm like, I'm going to have a cocktail of milk, hot water and tea leaf. <laughs> you know, you'll like it. That's all. Yeah, I exactly. Do. Yeah. Jean says, I fit this book into Ranger Readathon as a Christmas star and the Donner prompt. Have you, are you doing Ranger Readathon? I forgot to sign up. <laughs> I'm fitting this into Mary Bookmas. Oh, as, I should be doing Mary Bookmas, but I keep forgetting. Yeah, I'm actually trying to make the snacks when I, well, I haven't quite done that yet, but the intention is there to make the treats, the 12 treats. I have done one. I have done one. And... <clears throat> I haven't really finished anything else yet to do the others. So I guess that's a me problem. I need to get to reading. I need to be reading. <laughs> it's, it's don't, no pressure. But no in stress. 60 pages, this will work for the magic prompt. Okay. Oh, that works. Yeah. Hey, Teresa. Oh, I'm the opposite now, too, and I get buzzed so easily. Yeah. Uh, no, but I get hung over much more easily. <laughs> See, I feel like I obviously would have been intoxicated. Like, I would have blown with my blood alcohol level. But 
you wouldn't have felt much and that didn't you feel it yeah so you must and like a- i have no inhibition to anyway so <laughs> like that's just kind of me already i don't need the alcohol yeah it's like i don't need this to do this stupid thing you just say <laughs> do it and i will you must have a really fast metabolism then I had to get a nerve blocker for my feeling because um, the last time I had a feeling, they did five shots and I could still feel it. Oh, no. Mm, good fun. Oh, that's so, um, not fun. That's not good. I went to a different dentist because I, I said to them, like, this doesn't feel right. My tooth doesn't, like, when they done the filling and stuff and they're like, does this feel right? I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, well, you'll wear it down with time. And I'm like, my jaw doesn't feel aligned right now. Like, this doesn't feel right. Right. Like, yeah, whatever. So I just left. And then, so I went, put it off for 18 months, knowing that I had another one that was just as bad. <laughs> and I found this new dentist and he was amazing. And I told him that he's like, oh, I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, we will, we will try things <laughs> to make sure you're numb. It's like, okay. Um, and yeah, oh, he was brilliant. He's like, um, I'm going to massage this in and make sure that it's all there and that you can't feel it. And it's going to be all good. That was, did I send you the video of me doing the kissy face? I will find it and show you because it's hilarious. Is it recent? Uh, semi. So, <laughs> ooh, there we go. No, oh, no, I didn't see this. <laughs> uh, I can't tell where I'm going. Where am I going? You're close. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that really? So I was numb. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Your lips are all screwed up. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. <laughs> um, so I've walked, the dentist is literally just up the road and I've walked in and scared the shit out of Ash because I haven't told him I was on my way home. And so he's like killed over onto the ground in shock. And so I've gone and stood over him and you're drooling. Yeah, and he's like, no, you can't control where your drills go. And then because I also look like that, I, that's a really attractive face to kiss. Uh, so he was yeah. like, ah. I, I have to say this. I say it so often, but Ash is such a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> told you about his Chris Hydro maybe I didn't um so, so I'm really not good with Christmas presents that are uh, out of sight out of mind <laughs> so um my family and I decided to get him a well he wanted this watch and it was three hundred dollars and so my family split it and we got it for him and we had to get it shipped so I forgot that I bought it and then spent another hundred dollars on more presents <laughs> from Redbubble, which also had to be shipped. And <laughs> I see where this is going. <laughs> so then I was shopping the other day, so I bought him more stuff, which equated to about a hundred dollars. Oh it was physical, so I haven't done that again because it's fucking in my face. <laughs> you at least so it's not gonna happen again and he's getting a really good christmas i'm not even gonna be here for it i leave on christmas i need to go to my parents <laughs> so he just gets all these surprises with you not even there yeah we're gonna we're gonna do friday night we will do a little christmas together that sounds wonderful but yeah spoil that yeah yeah mm-hmm. whoopsies <laughs> I, I am, it's hard for me because when I'm in school, the time when I should be buying gifts is Mm. when I'll think of something, but I don't write it down. And then I just forget about it. And so then like when it comes time for me to start buying gifts, like this last week, I'm like, I, I, my brain is literally mush and I can't think. I don't even remember. it's mush prior. Like. I don't don't remember people anymore, to be honest. Uh, speaking of Teresa, who's here, like, I already sent her husband a gift because I thought, oh, that'd be a quick little gift. And I sent it and it mailed out directly. And I still haven't, like, you know, like, what a good friend I am for her husband. <laughs> so, it's just like, I've been really bad about these things, you know? 
randomly think of certain things, but then I don't think of other things. And it's just, it's my brain on school. Like, it's like your brain on drugs, my brain on school. Like, it's totally, it's, it'll get better over the next week or so. And then I'll start school again. <laughs> and then it'll go away again. <laughs> Not much longer now. You loved it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> It was an ornament of mac and cheese because I know I know he loves mac and cheese, and I was like, "Oh, I better get that! I better get that going because it'll take a while for it to get there." And it didn't. It but got Apparently there right away. Not. And I haven't done my other Christmas shopping yet, so like, <laughs> I'm failing my friend. <laughs> well, fine. Yeah, it's just weird. It's just weird, and I, I'm like, I can't wait to not be in school anymore. I hope that I'm a a more together person at that point. It may yeah, not happen. After school, definitely. Yeah. Are you more together now, Paige? Oh, absolutely not, but I never have been and never <laughs> aspired to be. <laughs> if anything, I was more organized in school because I was working full time doing a part-time full-time equivalent masters and putting out three videos a week I'm now working part-time I don't have a master's degree to bother with and I'm only putting two videos out a week can I get my shit together absolutely not I'm having the same problem though like I used to put out a lot more videos and I have struggled to put out videos for the last three or four months and I think we've realized that our mental health is more important. I guess we must have just let it go before. Like, eh, forget mental yeah. health. Yes. No, nah. we're not. <laughs> we, we need to prioritize us. I just feel like I can't get as much accomplished in the same amount of time as I used to be able to. Yeah, I can. I feel that. It's like I have a massive to-do list for today. Did I do any of it? You're here. I did two things. <laughs> It And it's more like I didn't realize that the booktuber video was going to take me 40 minutes to film. So I was thinking, oh, maybe half an hour and then I'll be able to do the other half an hour. And then it took 40 minutes and then I needed to eat food. Yeah. So. Well, it took you a while to peel yourself off the floor after I gave you your dumb prompt. <laughs> That's <laughs> It's funny because I cried twice, one with yours and then one with another one. And then I've commented in like a group chat that I've got going for it. Literally, I titled it Be Mean to Paige as the group <laughs> chat. And I had two mean people out of 12. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see who was mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, so some of the times I'm like, I, I've been like all gushy and stuff. And then the next one I'm like, fuck you, dick shit. <laughs> <laughs> can't they can't make it too easy on you pay i made it easy on you i was like gosh why did i do that i should i should have picked a different book that it's not already one you're planning oh i appreciate it i appreciate it <laughs> the books i appreciate if people know that i've got shit i'm accomplishing with it like yeah. that's fine that's what yeah. the prompt is the prompt is for chaos yes yeah and chaos ensued yes yes man my i don't yeah that was so and i was <laughs> It's like it came to my mind and I'm like, oh, no, that's so weird. Okay, Is that the initial one huh? that you messaged me being like, oh, I've, I've got an idea? It was uh, bad from the get-go. Uh, no, I think it was something else. Uh, okay. I no, no, I, I think it, it was, oh, I can't remember. No. You said you need to have a think on it, but you have an idea for it that you're excited for. Oh, when did I say and, that? Like when I sent you the message rehashing it. Oh, then it wasn't that. No, that it wasn't that. I don't remember what it no. was, but <laughs> I think it was sort of one of those things where I was like, maybe it was that. I don't know. I just know that I was like, hmm, what could I do that's very personal to Paige and would make her laugh? And would be oh, really I, like different, different. Yeah. I wanted to be different. And uh, you know. <laughs> you filled that brief perfectly. Yeah. yeah. 
I sure did. <laughs> I was really embarrassed when I was like, and then the last two days I've been like, oh my God, Paige is going to, she's going to unfriend me. She's not stopping me. Absolutely not. <laughs> Although there is only one problem. I have no idea where this originated from anymore. <laughs> I, I was curious about that. I was curious where it came from because. I got nothing. I just, I know that after I just started saying it. And then you were saying it, and, and and then we were doing it, and it just was like, oh, it was just this well, thing. We were laughing about it because yeah, I was in, like, it brought me to hysterics listening to Ash say it. Because I've always said tomato differently. Like, I <laughs> I will say it like tomato sort of thing, but we've never replied it to potato. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know. I was laughing about it. I was like, I've got to tell you this because I know that you're going to appreciate my hysteria. <laughs> and then it just became a thing. Yeah. But yeah. It's it's so much fun. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm, I'm making the boys sweet potato tonight. <laughs> Ooh, delicious. Stuffed sweet potato. Oh, that sounds good. Potato. Potato. <laughs> And I got it into that video three times. <laughs> you did amazing. I think I did twice after you as well. <laughs> I can't wait to watch. I refuse to say it normally after then. Of course. I was not. like, no, nah, it's it's all or nothing. You have to say it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if anybody's curious what we're talking about, go check out Paige's uh, Advent Challenge video soon. When it comes out. Coming to soon. your subscription feed soon. Soon. It's yeah. either Tuesday or Friday my time. I have not decided which. I can't. Probably wait. Friday. I'm hoping that most people didn't make it too hard. You said we said there's only two hard, so. There's only, there's only two main ones. It's not hard. It's just one is not in my wheelhouse of comfortability because I don't have the skills required to do it well so I'm just gonna do it badly uh, and the other one's just long and mm. it requires a hefty amount of effort from myself so but like they're not bad they were the mean just ones mean yeah oh I can't wait yeah. look look at this page are you going to read All He Wants for Christmas is a Fingerly? <laughs> a paranormal wolf shifter romance with a twist. A potato and a wolf shifter. All right, bitches, we are now. I mean, <laughs> does it get better than that? <laughs> oh, dear. How? Wait. I didn't know that was a no. thing. No, it couldn't. I don't know if we want that to be a thing, but maybe it is a thing, or maybe it's a thing. Uh, uh, apparent, mm. It's apparently a thing. It's a thing. I'm now sad. Am I using this for your book? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so concerned. What kind of grades, do, grades did I get? What kind of grades did I get? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good grades. It's an average of 3.5. I mean, it's not 3.2. No, it's... I'm like half tempted to get it in the paperback. Oh, damn, it's non-stock. It doesn't have a potato on the cover of it, though. I know. All I want for Christmas... And then I'd have to save it for the end of the year. Because I'd have to read it at Christmas time. <laughs> Fingerly. I'm not reading, but let's see. Oh, uh, I got it. Hi, Kit. Okay, I've added it to my wish list. I will get it on KU and read that potentially. But if I like it, I will order a physical copy. Or if someone gets me as a shits and gigs, then I will have it. It is a it's thing. A thing. 
most people have DNF. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so concerned. Uh, one of the first comments here. So werewolf meets a potato shifter. Yeah. <laughs> And they have <laughs> potato -y sex. <laughs> and let, oh, that's good. Yes. I don't know, Paige. That's cruel. Well, it's, it's fun, though. I'm concerned about the fact that it's written by a lady who says, I'm a writer, but I, I'm sure you've guessed that by now if you're reading this. Hey, what you might not know is I'm a little quirky. Live in my PJs most of the time and have cake Saturdays with my sisters every week. I I dedicate a little of my time to taking care of my grandbabies and on de the dedicated writing days, I like to write an eclectic mix of romance, suspense, and paranormal fantasy. In the main, I've written gay romance, but I'm branching out under another pen name in the future, so watch this space. Interesting. Interesting. Fingerling. How come it's not? coming in up now oh he wants that's why all i want for christmas is potato <laughs> potato <laughs> oh that is just funny though that is funny i was not prepared for that mentally <laughs> or physically I just can't wait to see your reaction. I can't wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Oh, it's going to be glorious. All right, well, uh, we have dinner reservations. <laughs> oh, look at you being all fancy. I have to I clean my house for my friend. <laughs> now there's that too. So, um, we're done with this series. We're done with all our series for the year. I mean, I'm not quite. I have 60 pages left, but I'm pretty much done. Mm. Mentally, you're done. Yeah. It's making the rounds on Instagram. <laughs> I appreciate you bringing it to our attention. Thank you, Jean. Uh, I think Jean was the one who told me about the, um, the pumpkin Jack. spice. Jack, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jean. <laughs> um, what are those? Oh, that's huh? infernal devices. Or no? Yeah. Uh, and then, um, oh, so yeah, next year I, I'm gonna I'm hoping to do in I don't know when now at this point, but I'm hoping to do a an announcement video for our upcoming series. Um, just so everybody knows, though, I think everybody here probably already knows, but just so you know, we're gonna be reading the Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, so that you can get yourself prepared. But we're not starting till February, so. No worries until then. Did I do the right layout in the Instagram chat? Um, were we starting the first book in February or are we starting the point something book in February? I thought we were starting the point something because then we're still ending super early anyway. Okay. Then, I, then you did it right. Okay. So we're technically starting the very first book in March and we're doing the point five book pale dreamer in february mm. and we will have mid-month sprints any month we have a book whether it's a half book or a full book but we won't have a book talk we won't have a actual live show until we finish the first book, book. and that'll yeah. include the half book and the full book but we will do sprints in february and in march yeah yeah this is gonna get chaotic i <laughs> love it <laughs> and we're only doing one book this year one series this year because it was kind of rough for all of us to do two series um, with all the other stuff that we need to do. And we figure that'll give us a chance to do other things like side quests that we want to do. Like we are definitely going to be doing the Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter series. So that'll be one of the side quests, but it's not like set. We have to, you know, these specific, well, we'll figure it out when it's going to be, but it'll be a side quest. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! We're done! Woo! We did it! 2022! Bookstar read-alongs! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! I'm so proud of us! I'm so proud of us, too. I can't believe it happened. We did it. We succeeded. With both. We started and finished three series, Paige. Three series. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn good. 
Mm. I'll be excited for just one side quest <laughs> and one main quest. Yeah, yeah. That'll be nice. It'll be a little more relaxing, a little less pressure, especially looking at your goals for next year. Jeez Louise, Paige. Yep. Thank you for joining us, Jean, and thank you so much for interacting in the Discord and uh, constantly yeah. being here in support. And mm -hmm. we appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Paige. My pleasure. It's been fun hating on stuff. I enjoy it immensely. <laughs> I love. I've been loving hearing your thoughts. Your all your thoughts about these these books. It's been fantastic. I'm excited for you to read the last 60 pages and get to see what happens. Okay. Yeah. And I'll probably message you or something about it too. So, uh, okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody. And we will see thank you later. You. See you next year. Ah, I can't believe it. 2023. Yeah. Yippee. Incoming. <laughs> Peace out, Shell. Peace out. What a, what a dork. <laughs>